children of gods and heed my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth. Nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed, yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. Tune for you, want to live in your step. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you are, my little drinker. Go. So, you see our king. It, friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. I shoot the heads of Charles Hill Dog. Oh, no drink in your fist? Come on. I'll find you something. I can't. I have a tribute for your father. Oh, what a piece. That must be worth two sturdy longships. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. 
but you're not getting any mead. Like a satyr works through my hammer. <laughs> So, you have the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes? Can we show Stick at the can stones to start yesterday? That's a good idea. We'll do that in the morning. First light. Gift to deliver. Abel, wait. Skull! Custodio! The true king of Brugafolga! Tonight, we are. King, may our clans be forever bonded in friendship and love. <gasps> Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in the Hall of Kings. On ocean steed, my words gain wings. Oh, then smeed, I forth will bring. For noble deeds, I gonna sing. The brave men slain, Valkyria waits. Rewards for strain to Valhalla takes. And horns resound the mighty horn. For those who fight! For those who fight! Ready yourself, men! Ah. Go! Not you, Faber. Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil.
All right. Wait here. It's my turn to offer you a deal, Slave. Accept your fate and die a coward here before your people. And I will spare the rest. Fight, my love! Do not listen! If I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Baron. No, Baron! Pick up your axe! No. Kill them all! DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. How long have you been chasing me, Wolfkist? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of our crew! Make them suffer! Evil Wolf Kiss is no more! That name is dead to this world! 
You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> uh, to the ship. Uh. You move, and I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? <laughs> crew is in danger. I need to reach them. Better. Stronger. Save that for later. Where that oath breaker is holding my crew.
Cautious around here. Survey the area soon. Chatvis warriors. 
I should stay out of sight. Once this land is under Kjotve's lash, we will live like Jarls. This area is all Lot happened while Ravenclaw lives. They fight like berserkers. Ava Wolf kissed, killed a score or more single handed. <laughs> Clash of iron. There is fighting nearby. Dag, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kjotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davos Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I'll meet you by the ship.
Shotvis warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. What see you, old friend? Attack on sight here. The longhouse. My crew should be inside. Hey! Ha! No escape! I will get you! Should have run, rabbit! The other side must be barred. Should be an opening in the roof. Worm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Buckrout. You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice... Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Odin! I will sell you to hell herself! Yeah. Kneel, wolf kissed, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit!
Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it know! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh. Yes, of course. You have my true thanks, friend. Well fought, Wolf Kissed. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice.
Let's keep our wits about us. My blood freezes.
I need your eyes, my friend. in this ice bath. Deadly cold. Do you see, Sunan? <laughs> Turn to ice if I stay here.
My eyes. This place is heavily guarded. Ancestors will put you out to the crows. Gods here are vigilant. Put up a fight! 
Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Cut his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them.
More sails! Yuka will come for us now. Harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Jotbe's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skull who dares sing that verse, it'll be his last song. Dock the ship here! <gasps> well, well! The Feeder of Ravens returns! And not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor! For good this time! A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about. Except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. Oh. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know.
Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Good, Mondur. It appears your ship is like one of Holger's stories. Never quite finished. <laughs> Get me some decent wood and I can finish it in a week. But Styrbjorn won't gift me any. There was a little plunder at Avalsness, but if I come across any, it'll be yours. Evo, did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew that is worth more than silver. That doesn't count! You need silver! And jewels! <laughs> Shut up, Rolf! How do you know? You never went on a raid! Just shut up! Oh. Is there no one who will go around with me? All right. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Say me if you're starting to make a sweat blue cord. Now I can knock that thing. Thor in the heart of the city, make it. No, you're not going to be able to do it. Drink every one of you. Don't feel bad. Most of these backgrounds would have pissed themselves all past by now. Come and drink. Let us amuse the gods. This land will never prosper while clan battles clan. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery! You told me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer! Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. 
So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Elvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. Is the king free to speak with me? He is still with the emissary from the north. I would wait a while longer. Understood. I'll come back. You look like you know a thing or two about dice. I do miss the rattling of luck bones. Or luck. A game of skill. Or luck. <laughs> How about a game? Let us play. I am pretty good. Do not say I did not warn you. Come through. I can hear now. This will do.
interesting. My game, stranger. Just give up. It have been anyone's game. Are you going to walk away now with your head hung in defeat? Let us play again. Another time, perhaps. Welcome in. What's going on? Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I'll be happy. I'll be happy to. Let's keep a sharp watch. See how I'm standing? Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Not a sign. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit, and now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out. Then release. Thank you, Eivor. Now I have something for you. See? All in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer. But I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. Have a look, Sunan.
Verda at a camping. Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. Who would like to hear a story? Who would enjoy a tale of the gods? There is all... Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunner. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? How are you, Gunner? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunilda? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunner. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. anything else that is all for now return any time
torn by strife. The battle... Hating the man is magic. Betrayed custom and they murder in Odin's great all. Be my eyes. The battle-born Asian, hating the Vanya's magic. Sven, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Tove says she's trying out some new tattoos. She is, and she's getting better at it. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Good. Need anything else? Let me have a look. Go ahead. Is there something else? See you later, Sven. Sure. Can I interest you in a game of Orlok? They must be finished now. But if you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. <laughs>
Hey, can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I'll see you soon. Great custom and made murder in Odin's great hall. Gulve of the. Come and drink! Let us amuse the gods! Oh, no. Do 
you want to be an outlaw? This is your last chance! Why are you shouting? Ivan has wandered off again. Every time he claims he got lost in the mountains, I have had enough. If I have to risk more men looking for him, he will be branded and outlawed. Ivan, uh, he is Gunnar's sister's son, if I have it right. Do not fire your iron yet. I'll have a look around. The god-cursed background has deserted again! I'll be Brandy the Deserter! <laughs> Do you want to be an outlaw? This is your last chance! Hamuram. Hamuram. Volka? Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya. I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... Uh, I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come, but she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. 
And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A greybeard in a cloak. With a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! Do I walk among the dead? Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother! When did you arrive? no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Take it! Take it! What is... what has happened? This was not for you, Javi.
steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. God, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm hmm And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threats of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I saw the gates to Odin's whole slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done.
They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I'll speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of, or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Hey, careful with that one. Eivor! Sigurd! <laughs> ah, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. What, have you been worrying without me? Ah, oh, and you, soul-cured vikinger. <laughs> I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just a start. <laughs> Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts, and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes! Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. For that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyrtve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. 
Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son! Welcome home! Ah, uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Bivrest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes forged Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Ranvi. Eivor! Have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is not something I can speak on, or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband return? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> Hytham, is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes, but the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week, but always I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's meat. <laughs> ah! Thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no mead. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey, called you his right arm, a celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. 
But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. <laughs> Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornberg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm, we shall see. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. <laughs> to my first night in Fornberg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. Thor to shame. <laughs> you have been away too long, brother. You do not know the spiced cake of Tekla's meat. Mm. It does have a new taste. I like it. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland, and it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Hytham is not amused, it seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? It is not about worth, Eivor. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and... and training. Hytham, please. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Hytham. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm, to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. 
But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. This clan of yours, it has a name. Indeed. But among the tenets of Alcreed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, a blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Excellent. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. Take that one down from the ledge. a challenge. Leap down upon that target from above. A perfect strike. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Exactly, just like that. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer her the blade? Surely we have more. Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy her gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Eivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I've missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf kissed. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be at your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, 
All greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve, and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit. Chodvis warriors. have come alone. I should find the others. Signa Filki. Father Filki means I the mere at their Can you point me to some good hunt? I could. Bring me th a worthy sh Show me. Sunan, guide me.
bad feeling, just the three of us. We should return to Notfall with our report, while we can. We can bring Kjotve news of the longships. Or we can wake him with Sigurd Styrbjörnsson's head. Which is better? All right. When Jot returns, we weigh our next move. But I am not one... Each day we wait, Kjotve grows stronger. I... We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I return the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that wailing village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Off we go. Warriors! Run up the stairs! Thank you! When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtve's end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtfall from Kurtve. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow, it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid, for they will be deaf to his cries. And soon, the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor, I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Stierbjorn did not trust fate with both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable.
must be careful now. Take that! The Ravens came no fun for Odin! They're to pieces! Burn and pillage! Then all the flesh to judge Feel the frost of our stinky life! Yeah. Fox this one. Join the group! <laughs>
All right. Ships are coming! Clan. You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, Uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Any man who wishes to see the end of Kjotve is a friend of mine. We thank you, King Harald. Your trust in me will be repaid. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Chatve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florley. Near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool... ...or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end.
Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtwe's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Eivor may give challenge to Kyrtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kyrtve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyrtve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today my blade must do the work of Skull's sharp scissors, and cut short the court of Kyrtve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kyotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjadve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Kjadve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kjotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Fight is mine, Kjotve. Seeger is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me. This. This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg, as your father begged, Wolfkiss. Squeal, as your mother squealed. Blood for Odin! You destroyed my life. I will take yours. You are weak, like your father was weak. Then you fight! Thank <laughs> you. 
trick will just you want your father's child. Clan, your lives are forfeit. Come forward if you must, into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm. His debt's repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers, fire. Keep the rat. Get those ladders up. What's my lead?
You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. Gorm flees. His father dies twice today. Avon, hey, we have the day. Let the coward go. Eivor, the breath of battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruya Vilke. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Kuthormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. He'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing at Alrikstalir. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. 
If the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to Father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sona. Another time. Stretch your wings soon. Too cold. My blood freezes. Thank <laughs> you. 
and remain long in this ice bath.
Come on, Nani. Your clan is a foul stench. But we are strong, Ernie. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Come see what I have. Can I tell people this used to be yours? Made with the finest ingredients. Are you sure there isn't a... Uh... I have to go. See you soon. My love for you rises tall and... Does everyone in Alrechstadir play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age. No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. After a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it, smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding. That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only a... Uh, well, all right. Grab your weapon, you big... Strong Vikinger. Today we raid. A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes. Yes. Let us go, Viking. Maybe you could start by breaking things. And scream as you do, like it is really happening. <laughs> <laughs> Amusing, but not arousing. Yeah, it does not feel real enough. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes! Burn down our house! Burn it to the ground!
what did it? I am as hard as Heimdall's tower. Then run me like the Valgrin skates and enter Valhalla. Take all plunder you want, Vikinger. And take us also and let the love hunger consume you. Um, not a time, maybe. But I will help myself to your chest. With stink! Step closer, seal face, and say that again! I said your stench is strong. That's your. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorim is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one. And see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, 
Did you see a sigil on him? Silver? The size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stabbing your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice, shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake, and Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Uh, you have to eat something before... You arker shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that?
You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You are shed into this world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The Alding will have started. I should find Sigurd. Tell me Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> They buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river! 
I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blooded before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Juvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. A modest and honorable answer. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harald, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebjorn's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. All I know of fate is that its pattern is unknowable. I do not worry beyond that fact. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. 
You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Are you one of Harald's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask, are you one of the conquered? Did Harald take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Haftan the Black. Well, welcome to Thornburg, warrior. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The wash will never end! Harald's colors. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Kjotve's riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. 
Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd! What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga, in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Stirbjorn Jarl. Our men were killed as we patrolled nearby. And the word is, Eivor swung the axe. If the dead could speak, what would they say of their deaths, Wolf Kissed? They would tell you how they offered us insults, and how I slew them for it. As the dead cannot defend themselves, a fair gelt is wanted. Fifty weight of silver for each life. By law. Fifty weight? You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. Why England? Why throw away all you have for such an uncertain future? Here you could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name, known all across Harold's many kingdoms. No. I'll not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor, and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart. But I am glad you'll leave this place alive. sacks of wool put some muscle into those pools ration your strength dog we have an ocean to cross all right you lazy back routes sigurd what's our course the sons of ragnar established the settlement near the coast we set sail for that 
Bragi, sing a song to lift our hoog. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. We know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! For Valhalla! In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say... Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. I'm not going anywhere. Not yet. Would love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. Did you get 
Jammy tea. Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... It depends on what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Sean has been busy. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. A passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I... I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like... two minds. Fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels... dense. Noisy. Could it be the staff? Interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches. My temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar and tattoo it on my leg. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, come in. No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. 
our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived, I died, and now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all, and will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory, the Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, take in your oars! All standing! Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood! May Thor bless you all on your way! We will see you soon! Say on! Yes! I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. But well, they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him! That is the difference! Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! 
They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Come to stop the boats. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before pressing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dag. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Survey the area, Sunan. I should not be seen in this area. be able to shoot it. Eyes open, just in case. Hey! 
Work. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dag. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy, and the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of symbol pleasures, aren't you, Dak? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. Ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead, where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look.
Those are not Norsemen. They are too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakarout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! Kill these heathen bastards! You'll be in pieces! Keep your guard up! No more surprises. Right. I will check the longhouse. Dead by the look of it. Cracks and rubbish over here. I think this is clear. What do you say, darling? Agreed. All clear. Wait. <laughs> Who are you? <sighs> I 
Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd! Dag! In here! Those men had prisoners. Yes. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand. That's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I read their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Hastan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable. To keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stirbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home.
Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranti has found something I would like you to see. Eivor? Sigurd? I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. Hmm, I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Scraps of plans, old letters, a few runestone messages. It took some time to decipher the mess and piece it all back together. Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking, then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you're the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, 
I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you, and put it to better use than they did. <laughs> 